hello, welcome back, um, it's, uh, fr good for, hope you all have a good Friday whenever you're seeing this, um, my dog is with me today, he's there, if you can see him, I'm still recording my phone, I need to do something about that, um, today we're going to be doing an MLB recap from the past, from opening day to now, big storylines, small storylines, you name it. Alright. Okay. Um, starting off, we've got about Vlad Jr. Vlad Jr., if I remember correctly, was my MVP pick for the AL. In my, maybe not. I knew it was my World Series MVP pick. He had three home runs and a double with a bloody hand. Um, so he really just sort of one hand, it looked like to me. He also hit, not different game, different game. He hit, um, a 467 foot homer, like 100 and something, 100, no, it was 115, what about 115 X of velocity, it was insane. Um, Clayton Kershaw throws seven no hit innings, or not even perfect innings, with 80 pitches, but he got taken out, which was really weird. I don't, I don't know what that was about. Um, Mike Trout hit a 472 foot homer. Here's a big story. So the first female, or yeah, the first woman manager in minor league history had her first game, I guess you would say. Uh, being the league, I can't remember what day it was. But, and then the first female on-field coach, that was the other day. She was the first base coach for the Giants. Um, okay, and then Albert Pujols hit, if you didn't know, he signed with the, um, Cardinals, we the Cardinals again. Well, obviously, he did not again, he's only the second home team. He has first home run. Um, Stephen Kwan, if you haven't heard about Stephen Kwan, he's making my Bollywood Junior Rookie of the Year pick look stupid. Um, he took him 116 pitches, the first 116 pitches, and now swing and miss. Um, I still don't think he's got struck in out yet, which is insane. He's looking really good right now. Um, Trevor Bowers' leave was extended, which is a really big story. Um, I think sometime into May, maybe, is when it got extended to. But in the next, we have um, Spencer Torkelson hits his first homer, but he is three for 17, which, which is really bad. <laughs> um, you know, I, I He's he's going to be one of the greatest players in the MLB at one at some time. Just I I don't know if he's ready yet. I mean this is what he got drafted in what 2020 I think. So he's he would definitely I think he should stay another year in the minors, especially considering the fact that I think he only had like maybe one year in the MLB. Alex Bohm, I'm sure everybody's seen this. I have um, Alex Bohm said an exploitative. Uh, this place, I guess you could say what that is, but he made, he made three fielding errors, and then he made a routine play, and they said, you know, they were congratulating him, being sarcastic, as Philly fans do from time to time, he, yeah, yeah, so that happened, um, Otani is struggling so far, he's not doing very good at all, I mean, uh, pull the stats here, Yeah, he's he's really struggling. Um, I, I looked it up yesterday. I was making the, what I needed to talk about for this video, and he has he has a twenty six OPS plus, seven total bases, and pitching. He's not doing much better pitching. I don't think he's made. Um, he made one star. He actually made he made two starts. He had a seven point five six ERA with um, eight point one innings pitched, seven earned runs. Um, but he does have fifteen point one strikeouts for nine, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, he's um, he it's it's early in the season, so whenever I say these players are struggling, they can they definitely have time to get out of it. Um. Dansby Swanson, 
really, really tough season here. Um, has 13 strikeouts and is 4 for 25. Um, hey, you know that Reds pitching staff really put a hurt on him, I guess. Um, uh, Wander Franco and uh, Jose Ramirez both get multi-year, multi-$100 million extensions. Um, congratulations to them. Although, I figured J-Ram would be somewhere besides Cleveland at this point in his career. Well, after, la after the last couple of years, you know, always trade rumors about him leaving, you know what I mean? Um, Wanda Franco, nobody's surprised that he got an extension. That's insane. Just an insane athlete. Um, uh, Nick Lodolo, uh, number two Reds prospect, has, some, has a really bad first start in the MLB against the Guardians, and uh, Hunter Green has, allows two, I think it was two, three home runs in his first start, but has a pretty solid start for it being his first one against the reigning World Series champions. Um, Bobby Witt Jr. is struggling, a lot of the rookies are struggling, is struggling but I mean, it makes sense. But he, he has had really good defense, Bobby Witt has, um, made some insane plays. Um, Julio Rodrigo is, I mean, I, I know I keep saying these guys are struggling, but for them to face minor league pitching before this, they're really not doing that bad. Um, Jordan Romano is already up to four saves in the Blue Jays' first six games. Not something I expected, but definitely something to keep, keep, um, keep thinking about there. Um. Uh, Aaron Judge doesn't get extension f from the Yankees after wanting $36 million a year. Well, the Yankees only want to pay him like 30.5, I think. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr. and Freddie Freeman, something got blew out, blew out of proportion there. Uh, so basically they said that Ronald Acuna said that, um, you know, Freddie, he didn't really like Freddie Freeman, but I don't see how that was the thing because... They clearly liked each other, and Acuna came out and said that that, that was wrong. Um, he really didn't say it like that. They twisted his words and whatnot. Um, next, we got Matt Chapman, Brian Reynolds, and Trey Turner get small small deals, I believe. Uh, Matt Chapman's in. Uh, I think it was Soto's word to avoid arbitration. As yesterday was arbitration day. And Brian Reynolds and Trey Turner, I think, was just... No, I think Trey Turner's might have been to avoid arbitration too. Um, and then Brian Reynolds got a two-year deal, not worth a whole lot. Definitely shouldn't be with the Pirates anymore. Don't know why he signed another contract with them of all teams. Um, Ryan McMahon gets six-year, $70 billion extension. Big deal there. I'm sorry if you hear, like, noise back here. It's my dog. Um... He's just, you know, being, being a worry back there. Um, yeah, he gets a seven, six year, $70 million extension. Which, he is a pretty good player, but not, I don't know about, you know, every, what, I don't you know, 12, but not, not 12, I don't know, a lot of money. He's a good player, though. And uh, moving on, we have Chris Paddock and Emilio Pog Begon, I think is how you said it. To uh, Minnesota for Taylor Rogers and Brent Rooker. Um, really solid trade for both teams. Uh, Minnesota, um, the Padres get a top five closer in the MLB, I think. Um, and a solid left fielder. Probably back left fielder, really. But Minnesota got a really big haul back in return for Taylor Rogers. Uh, they got Chris Paddock, um, a really good starting pitcher, and uh, a really good reliever to replace Taylor Rogers uh, Amelia, and Amelia Paul Pagan. I don't know how you say it. I'm not gonna lie. Talk about not saying anything. No, no, no. Say a name. Um, Isaac Paredes. I think is how you say it. He's the sixth prospect for the Tigers. Was we'll traded for Austin Meadows. Um, a great. A, a, Wonderful DH slash outfielder, and Paredes is a shortstop, um, and a number six prospect in the Tigers organization. So he's number six. That's saying a lot because they have a lot of really good young talent. I I, I think. Um, I th I think that's about it. Um, appreciate you guys for 
watching the video with me. I um, hope you guys have a good Easter weekend. That's what you saw. I'd say most people celebrate Easter. If um, um, thank you guys. Have a good one.